What is going on, guys? It's your host, Fly Stewie, in the building, spang on 5,000 trillion. Today, we're going to talk about can double plants still work coming up to season 19? Of course, it's all about seeing which axes are going to be successful, which ones are going to break into the meta. And a lot of people are going against a lot of these traditional bills. So we're going to go over one of my scholars who has a double plant team with a backliner that can do some damage. And we're going to see if it can still be successful in this meta. By the way, it's your boy Fly Stewie. Make, if you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure to like, comment. And guess what else you got to do? Subscribe because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Now, without further ado, let us. Do, 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 do. So, if you've never seen this site before, and as we exit this here, this right here is one of the great genius scholar tracker managers. It does all your work for you, it is so good. And what's great about this site here is that a lot of scholars, when they first come in, you know, they're learning the game and you can actually watch their games and see how they're doing. Um, that way you can just, you know, say if they're doing well, if they're doing good, what they can improve on, what they're doing great already. So once you're on this site, it's literally tracker.management here. You just click battles. And right here, we're gonna look at um, a scholar that just started and we're gonna look at two of her games and see what she's doing great and what maybe we can help her out on a bit. So the first game we're gonna watch is gonna be a loss and we're gonna see what happened in this game and see if there's anything maybe she could have done to sneak out that win. Ooh. All right, so first we're gonna start with a pause here. Um, we're gonna start with a pause there and we're gonna look at everyone's cards. By the way, we got John in the building, Team TNT in the building, and of course, Julius in the building. Um, so the first thing I would say here is I definitely would rather her formation be two beasts, uh, two plants parallel. I like how these guys are in the same line, but these two plants, I definitely want them to be parallel against each other, next to each other. That way, this guy with Pricklin Trap that does massive damage he can't just target the closest axie. He'll either hit him or either hit him, which again nullifies this axie a bit because he can't just target the strongest axie. So her first move of pumpkin I like, even though, you know, um, round one they can't kill your axie most of the times. Well, I mean, he has a beast, so he can kill your axie in round one. But I like pumpkin because you're with a very combo heavy team, of course, you have this guy here, so you want to get your Ronins, so she's going to get the extra draw first. Now, what's interesting here is you have this risky fish aqua here. You have this upstream <laughs> beast, which honestly, upstream on a beast isn't that bad. It really is not. Um, and then, of course, you have the classic plant here, so... He starts with a risky fish, interesting move. Um, and then this is a good move here to just get some damage going. And then with this guy, takes him out. Possibly. And there, that's a good move, takes him out. So this is the this is the really hard part right here, right? This is the really hard part of the game because right now you're counting energies, you're trying to guess what this person is going to do, which could be really tough. So I would think the best move, the best options probably Aqua Stock Hot Butt. I like Aqua Stock Hot Butt, or I like Aqua Stock and Hair Dagger. I don't know if I want to pass, but he did use a lot of Beast cards last round. And as you can see here, because he used a lot of Beast cards, he doesn't have a lot here. Um, this guy is such a weird guy with his spicy surprise here. So, and then you can't use Catfish if you hit you with spicy surprise. So, definitely, who? It's a hard one, so he has three energy, so he can't kill you per se. So maybe a pass here? Either a pass, a spite. Uh, there's a lot of moves. Let's see what she does. 
So plays an Aqua Stock, not that bad of a move because of course, if he played Energy, energy he would have gotten got him here. And now here's a really interesting spot to be in. So Clan says, I think you can use Dusk with Beast cards as a back. Oh yeah, that's like the Dusk, the Dusk in every build is just better. <laughs> like if every build was a Dusk, it's just better, honestly. So gets with the upstream here. And then gets the one energy back. The, the biggest problem right here is that once this guy is gone, this aqua is not going to be able, like you're not going to be able to beat this aqua with the beast. So that's the biggest problem here. Um, so even though gets the kill here, takes him out in a short time, beating this aqua one-on-one -on -one is going to be very tough. And of course, doesn't even get the one-on-one -on -one because of course the morale of that guy is just through the roof. So this is a tough matchup, of course. When when Aqua's when you're going against an Aqua in the back, it's really up to that Aqua stock to get the W there. Um, so definitely a tough matchup. We'll see another one and see one where she won and what's going on there. So let's pull up. Let's see here. So again, Axie Management, such a great website. Um, let's go right here. Nice two game winning streak, but definitely a lot of losses. So let's see this one here. Right after the winning streak, let's see what went right in this game. By the way, we got Alivar in the building, John in the building, Julius in the building, Team TNT in the building. Okay, so Aqua in the front, interesting. Zigzag plant in the back with Yam. Okay, so this this guy I'd probably want in the front just because he has Yam on him. I mean Yam in endgame is probably not <laughs> as good as it could be in early game. This guy's pretty good, even though he has an aqua card here, but that aqua card gives him the extra speed. Um, so really good card. Normally that's imp, but fine so this team this guy should probably be your midliner honestly so this guy's just um, axes are definitely not in the right right place um but here let's screenshot this and okay so what we're gonna do here is what could she do first move so definitely a lot of options here honestly So you have all of these goodies up front. Oh my God, they threw the whole kitchen sink at her. What on earth? So skipped the first turn, now it's the second turn. And of course a skip first turn, always good because normally you can't kill him. But wow. They're able to do enough damage to take them out. That's crazy. And she put up a ton of shields. And that's really just the power of the beast. The beast just gets rid of your guys so good. And right here, this is why this watering stock is just so amazing. Now that Aqua basically had to attack there. And that's because it was about to die. So it wanted to put up most shield, wanted to use most of its cards. And this is where the 45 speed comes in play and look at this energy advantage four to one so probably could have used some a bit more cards there but gets the takes them out here which is always great the catfish ah oh, just the healing midliner always lovely and this guy just doesn't have the juice to get rid of them. Even though it's an attacking, he has no way to get energy, which is kind of rare for a plant. Usually plants have the energies mixed in there. So a plant versus a beast in endgame, you already know what's going to happen. It's going to be a good night. And right here gets the W. So again, really being able to time that Aqua stock is how Restful was able to get the win here. Definitely a great game.
And even with the zigzag and the super powerful Axie, it's a good, good night. Two hair daggers, gets the job done. Ah, oh, amazing. And realistically, that was two games. So the one thing I would say is really timing that Aqua stock, of course, is how um, Wrestle is gonna win most of her games. And then also maybe switching up the lineup. You know, I I think you can do one ahead of each other. I do like them double beside each other, but it depends on what you're seeing in the lineup there. Um, but overall, good, good games. Um, let's see how uh, the Scholar develops in the future. And but anyways, guys, I think the double plant still pretty good in the meta. A lot of aquas, double aquas between 1,200 and 1,800. Of course, plants are strong against aquas. But what do you guys think? Can the double plants still be strong or are they overrated? Julie says, damn, is that restful? She's doing good. Definitely learning those plays. Definitely learning the outplays. Um, as always, it's been your boy, Fly Stewie. And we, Fly Crew, gotta get out of here. But we're gonna keep going on live on YouTube, so... Hang out sometimes. Peace.